focus. There we go. What's going on YouTube, Scott Svench? It is Friday, the 11th of March. I'm about to go train chest. Thought I'd bring the camera out, show you a little chest workout, show you how to build. Yeah, a nice big chest. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna take the camera along. Training with Nathan, NTD. And uh, we're gonna get a big session in, big session in. So, let's get to the gym. Uh. Fucking banger. You know when it's Friday, you had a fresh trim. You're on the way to the gym. It's the weekend. Hey. It's gas, it's gas. We're gonna kill this session. You be training then or what? Huh? Forget it. We're about to go kill chest. I don't know what we're gonna do. No workout planned. I'm just gonna get a pre-workout in. We're gonna murder chest. Okay, so first things first, obviously, quick warm up, warming up the rotator cuffs, a few raises here and there, get some blood in the shoulders and the chest. And then the first thing we did was the flat bench press. Um, just started on a plate, went to two plates, then to three plates. Now, initially it was feeling strong, but I got to three plates, and uh, which I normally rep out quite easily, but struggled today. I don't know whether it's the low carbs or just having an off day but I just weren't moving the weight like I normally was. So what we decided to do was drop the weight down and uh, get some pause reps, throw some drop sets in and just up the intensity rather than the weight. As like I said, I just didn't have the strength today for whatever reason. So um, we did five sets. This was the fourth set on two plates. And then the last set we did two plates and then drop set it to the one plate and rep that out. So yeah, initially it was pumped, it was going to go heavy, but the strength just wasn't there for whatever reason. So we decided to um, concentrate more on getting good negatives, good squeezes, getting a good pump. So next thing was incline dumbbell flies. We drop set these as well, went heavy, got up to about 34s, 36s, and uh, straight away grabbed the lighter dumbbells and went back in with a drop set. Three sets of these, 10 to 15 reps. Focusing on the negative, nice big stretch as far as you can go comfortably and then squeezing all the way through the rep up to the top trying to keep constant tension on your chest rather than just moving the weight you need to be squeezing all the way through the rep so yeah i mean you don't need to go heavy to get a good workout all the time as long as your intensity is up there you're getting the volume in nice contraction you still get a really good workout in which as you can see i still got a really good pump so what we were doing was alternating from a press to a fly movement. So we went straight into incline dumbbell flies. And like I said, nothing too crazy as far as the weight, but nice controlled reps until failure and then banging out some partials. We did three sets, uh, 10, we've got like 10 to 15 reps and then like I said, banged out some partials. And then on the last set, we drop setted it. Same again, grabbed a lighter dumbbell, nice controlled reps until we start to fail and then literally just pump them out, partial reps, filling the blood with muscle. So after that, we went back in with another incline press. And this is probably one of my favorite presses for, normally to be fair, we use it as a finisher or as part of a superset, maybe with some flies or something, but it really hits the upper chest really well. You, you can see the tension is all on the upper chest when you're squeezing. There's a certain spot that you can find, depending on your structure, it's different for everyone, but once you find that spot just above your head, you get the ultimate contraction, ultimate squeeze, and it's a really sick pump for your chest. We just did three sets of 15 reps on these, so concentrating on that squeeze at the top and focusing on your top chest. next thing was dips just with body weight uh, three sets trying to get 10 to 15 reps basically just keeping it moving getting a nice pump big stretch at the bottom obviously as far as comfortable it is a bit of pressure on your shoulders so a lot of people have more flexibility than others but pumping them out three sets of 15 not locking out as well we're not trying to put it on the tries just all chest so constant tension on your chest Now the last thing, we went over to the pec deck, 
and switched it up a bit we did single arms and then straight into a normal pec deck so it's 10 reps on your left arm 10 reps on your right arm and then straight in with both for another 10 reps the reason for the single arm is it, as you can see you can get a bit further across your chest and it gives you a really intense squeeze for your inner chest so we go, we're getting about 10 reps then getting your training partner to help you bring it all the way across nice big squeeze and then controlling the negative all the way back same on the other arm 10 reps big squeezes and then once you start to fail partner will come in help you bring it across all the way across to your other shoulder as far as you can go as you can see there all the way across and then we control the negative all the way back nice slow negatives get about three to four extra reps basically failure on the negatives get your partner to bring it all the way across and it's a really good finisher then straight back in as normal and basically rep it out still want to be keeping it on your chest to so keep your back flat against the pad try and lift your head up obviously at this point you're fatigued so it is harder and then once you start to fail get your partner to come in and get some forced reps nice big squeeze as you can see hold the squeeze there a good five seconds and just force out as many reps as you can just to finish strong basically So yeah, although the strength weren't there, we got some good volume in and got a good workout in the end. Just finished on a few sets of uh, cable flies to finish. Just at different angles, we did three sets of 20 reps, just pumping them out, still nice and controlled, stretch at the top, squeeze at the bottom. So yeah, three sets of 20, just pumping them out, getting that last big rush of blood to your muscle. And uh, after what well, I do, three sets of 20, every set, just change the angle of the, of the uh, fly just to switch it up but definitely a good way to finish your workout on a big pump and that was it really like i said initially went to go heavy but had to switch it up and went high volume instead but still got a sick workout in bang just finished my chest workout just got home now i'm um, getting my post workout meal in which is pro gains uh salmon fillet I'm gonna focus. There we go. Some spinach, broccoli. Keeping it simple. Uh, no carbs for my last meal. So uh, I'm gonna get this down and then chill for the evening. I'll put the full workout in the description below. So give it a go. Make sure you let me know how you get on. We'll see you next time. Out.